Who's got back? Steve Cornelius has got back. <laughs> <laughs> right there. There it is. <laughs> All right. Poor Steve. <laughs> Boy, is his face red. Well, for many of us, allergy season means one of two things. You suffer with itchy eyes and a runny nose, or you take allergy medication and you suffer from drowsiness. But our next guest, Cammie McBride, joins us with some natural ways to battle the worst of allergy symptoms. Welcome. We can yeah. all use this. Yeah, and with a really you. unique way, with yes. something that you wouldn't even think of using. Yeah, well, with the problem is that with the beauty with spring comes the misery of allergies, right? And it's just and starting to be that time. We're saying you want to be out there yeah, to smell just, the right. flowers. And so what we have here is a really uh, terrific herbal remedy that helps to reduce the inflammation in the body that contributes to the allergy symptoms. So it doesn't work like a drug and just stimulate it immediately. But over time, you address the root cause of why of inflammation, which is one of the root causes of allergies. Now, is it any kind of allergy symptoms that it can help with? Because some people have the itchy nose, some people have watery eyes, in their throat. Some, but some see, people cough um, or sneeze. Yeah, inflammation is at the root of all of that. And so what you do is you address this underlying symptom that it expresses itself in different ways depending on what your body, what happens for you. And okay. so we're looking at using nettles. Which I had never heard of in Guy's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yes, Don't touch I have. it. <laughs> I have been. You want to uh, I'm curious no, I now. Don't. How I've already stings? Touched that. stings. Most people ha who were raised near creeks have a story about some child falling in the nettle patch and coming home and being itchy for the so whole day. So does it really hurt? Well, when it, it stings, stings a little bit, and it but, and then it itches. And the area that you want to be careful of is the underside of the leaf. Well, there right? are little there are little stingers on both side of the leaves. But if you touch it going out, you don't get it. But if you touch it going in. You, you get right. stung. So how is it that you use something that could sting and itch you to make your allergies go away? I know. Isn't it, uh, nature is amazing that way. Stings and so you first of all, you allergies get it, away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you get it dried. You don't have to, you know, you could grow it your own and pick it with gloves. But the easier pain-free way to do it is yeah, to buy you it? You can buy it in, in bags. Or, where do you get it? Can um, you go online? Health food store. Natural all the health food stores has, have And have you nettles. asked specifically for stinging nettles. Stinging nettle. nettles, yep. Dried stinging mm -hmm. nettle. Okay. okay. And then the remedy is so simple because nettles is a very strong anti-inflammatory. It reduces the histamine response in the body. Again, you have to drink it for a couple weeks or several months. It doesn't work immediately. So <clears> start <throat> now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And nope. you can drink th two or three cups a day for months. That was going to be my question. So you put your water in your teacup. Are there any side effects to it? If you drink a lot of it, are you going to be up all night? Or are, are, are there any other <laughs> side effects that people should no, know about? No, it's not caffeinated. And the beauty of this is that it does help with your allergy symptoms without side effects. The only thing about nettles is it's a little bit of a diuretic. So you don't want to drink all of your tea at night right before you go to bed. You start drinking it in the morning and drink it till about, drink two cups or three cups by about three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. So you put your nettles, four tablespoons spoon of nettle into four cups of water. You put the lid on your teapot and you just let it sit overnight. You don't even boil it or cook it or anything. Seriously? Until the next yeah, day? Because the anti-inflammatory properties don't need heat. It just infuses into the water. So you just mix it up a little bit. You let it sit overnight. And then the next day you come and um, or you can put it in a jar like this and it'll look like this just from sitting overnight. Wow, okay, then do you drink it room temperature? Yes, you can reheat it or you can drink it room temperature. Can and you then put ice in it? Yes, but see, the thing is that ice is one of the things that contributes, it will make your allergies worse. Really? Because ice, ice, causes, ice causes the mucous membrane to contract and congest. No kidding. And so when, you ha when your mucous membrane are, is, you know, releasing tons of snot, <laughs> you don't want to contract it with ice. <laughs> so all that iced tea and ice water no that we drink ice. in no the ice. springtime, so not a good idea. So my remedy of lots and lots of ice cream <laughs> when I have allergies No, no. Ice not, cream. You want to stay away from good. ice cream when you have really? allergies. Yeah. Darn it. Sugar. Oh, that's really a disappointment. Sugar. I'm sorry. Okay, now, so speaking you of strings. sugar, so here we do. We... Sp Speaking of sugar, a lot of people can't drink tea without putting lots of sugar honey, in it. Honey, just put a little bit of honey. And okay. this isn't bitter, this isn't acrid, or it doesn't, it has a very nice flavor actually. Cynthia, our producer, wants to know if you can put Splenda in it. Splenda. Um, I sugar would, substitute? I would just go for honey. Okay, oh, sorry, that, Cynthia. Sorry, you got the smack now. <laughs> so here you have it, you know, you can um, just keep it in your pot and strain it out over the course of the day and drink it like this at home. Or, you can pour it into a jar like this or a, um, some kind of coffee uh, container or water mug and carry this with you throughout Drink the, the whole day. Jar. Now, how many cups approximately There's four is that? cups to a quart, so this is a quart, so this is about okay. three cups. And you drink two to three cups a day, 
and um, you drink it over time. Over, like I said, it doesn't suppress your symptoms immediately, but it reduces the underlying inflammatory process, and that's really what you want to do for allergies: is reduce your inflammation. And it would be so nice to feel better and not battle with allergies, and or exactly. the fatigue yeah. that comes with some of the the drugs. And what if you accidentally um, ingest some of those leaves? Are you going to be <laughs> stung? Are they going to sting you on the no, way down? Once you, throat? once the, um, well, you're, what you do is you strain them out. See? Okay. But if you miss saying if you accidentally <laughs> ingest one, you get are you going to be well, see, I've never done that in 20 years, so I hope that <laughs> okay, you don't well, do so that. So don't do it. Okay, and you have <laughs> some other developed. steps. You have some other steps to reducing allergies on your website. Yeah, and you know what? My name means God in Japanese. It does? <laughs> Cammy. There you go, Cammy. What, yeah. What's your website where people can it's find more um, information? It's www.livingawareness.com, and I have lots of tips for how to reduce your allergies this spring. Okay. And that is on our website as well if you didn't catch it there. Thank you. Thank here. you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Cammy. Yeah, you're welcome. Let us beat allergies. <laughs> we need this. Yeah. Well, up next, they are...